Properties of equality in equations in algebra. My name is Jason Jacobs. We're going to do 4-2, practice some problem solving over the properties of uh, equality. You have subtraction property of equality, division property of equality, multiplication property of equality, and addition property of equality. Hey, look, look, look. Here's the thing with algebra. There's two rules. First, you want to find the variable by itself. That's your whole goal. Next. What you want to do is whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do on the other. So if you add two on one side, you have to add two on the other side. If you subtract two on the one side, you have to subtract two on the other side. So let's look here. We're given 3m plus 6 equals 18. Now, if we add 5 to one side of the equation, we have to add 5 to the other side. That's called... Surprise, surprise, the addition property of equality right there. The addition property of equality. Here, the original, that's equal. Think of algebra as like a balance scale is 7t equals 50. Now, if you divide by 6 on one side, you have to divide by 6 on the other side. That's called the division property of equality. Not too bad so far, huh? Did I skip one? All right, here, n over 3 equals 9. All right, if you divide by 8 on one side, you have to divide by 8 on the other side. What do you think this one is? That's right, the division property of equality. All right, here you have this equation here, 3m minus 3 equals 9. If you add one on the left side, you have to add one on the right side. That's called the addition property of equality. If 3w equals 9, which property of equality was used to find the equivalent equation? 3w divided by 3 equals 9 divided by 3. Looks like they divided by 3 on each side. What do you guys think it is? That's right, the division property of equality. Hey, you guys are getting this, aren't you? Good. It's not so bad. Which equation is equivalent to m plus 6 equals 14? All right. So m plus 6, and here's 14. They divide it by 3, divide it by 3. So it could be that one. But look at this one. They divide it by 3 and then times 3. Uh, no. Divide it by 3 and then divide it by 6? No. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. Here, they just divide it by 3 on the left side, but not the right. All right. So whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side for algebra. Remember that. And in the next lesson, we're going to do the inverse operations. Like, for example, to solve this, the inverse operation of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So you'll divide by 2 on the left side and then divide by 2 on the right side. See it right here? Now, here's something interesting. When I was a kid and when your parents were kids, we did our algebra like this. Divide by 2 on the left side and divide by 2 on the right side, and we get n equals 8. And here, uh, they show it in a different way. So here, it's not this one because, look, you're dividing by 2 and then dividing by 16. It is actually this one here. You're multiplying by 2 on both sides, so that would make, make it equal. And then not in the next two topics, we're going to be doing this where you have to actually solve it and get the answer. In this, we're just finding equivalent, equivalent equations, which is that one. What? What happened, guys? Oh. Look at this, guys. Which of the equations is not? Equi Has that ever happened to you guys where you missed the not part? So here you're adding 5 on both sides. Here you're adding 9 on both sides. This is the one that's incorrect. Silly Mr. Jacobs. Come on. All right. We did it, guys. That's 4-2. Hope that helped. Thanks. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.